mentally ready for another hard-fought NBA battle. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the NBA on Thursday night. We're bringing it to you live here on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. Let's take a look at our starters for Atlanta. Murray and Hunter fill out the wings. Clint Capella out there with Johnson. And it's Young in at the point. And for Philadelphia, Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Kelly Oubre. And it's Batum in at the three spot. We're about halfway through the regular season here, Grant. We've had some surprising teams and players. Yeah, you know, every season we have at least one team that exceeds expectations and one that kind of lets us all down. But what I love the most is seeing breakout players that take this league by storm. And it's the Hawks to start out. Here's Young. Oh, there's the alley. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Oubre against Murray. Pass to Harris. Back to Oubre. Now here's Embiid. Defense right on him. And here is Maxi. Clock at six. And Clint Capella picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Out to Harris. Just five to shoot. For three, Maxi. He buries it from three. The unbridled confidence of Maxi at the arc. You can see it and feel it. He knows how good he is. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. It's good. Maxi, an exciting player to watch. So unpredictably hard to guard. Maxi against Young. And he lobs it up top. Very pretty alley oop. Nice touch on both ends of that alley oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Neither did the defense. Oubre. Rebound Atlanta. Coming into this, having notched to win against the Lakers in their last game. Oh, man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. For three, here's Harris. Oh, thanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. The Hawks have gone 3 of 3 so far from the floor. Here's Hunter. Batum with the defensive effort. Philadelphia has gone 1 of 2 from three-point land so far. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position, Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size, just mammoth. And his agility and skill level, so special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. I doubt that's what they were looking for, but it works out. Pass to Batum. Back to Maxi. Now Embiid. Guarded by Capella. They grab their own miss. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And over the last year, some changes for the Hawks on the bench and in the front office. Coach Schneider brought in partway through last season. Back in Utah, he helped establish a dominant defense. Now trying to move the Hawks in a better direction on that end as well.
misses the free throw. Atlanta making some changes here. Akangwu's checked in for Clint Capella. Bay comes in for Johnson. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. Second free throw is good. If you look back on Sixers history, the list of legendary big men is a long one. Exactly, B.A. And let me tell you this. Embiid's name is right there near the top of that list. You know, you think about the likes of Chamberlain, Moses Malone, those guys certainly on the list. Embiid joining them, that says a lot. Young, the pass to Bogdanovich. Off target from outside. Young against Beverly. Outside Oubre. Takes a three. Unable to get that one. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Hawks ahead, leading by one. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And from what we've seen from the Hawks, what's your take so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. The Sixers trailing. We've got Kelly Oubre, Daniel House out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Reed in at the center position. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Controls the rebound and the putback. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And great instincts, too, guys. Anticipating where the miss was going. Snatched up. A Kong Wu. Oh, the dunk by a Kong Wu. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Beverly shot off. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Bogdanovich finds Young. Oh, and a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Finished off the break. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Now here's Bay. Yet to see a basket. Now Young. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Pass to Morris. Shoots over Bay. Morris can't hit. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. The 76ers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Reed. And a Kangu with the block. Hey, no good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court, offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Allie, thanks for that. You like seeing Bogdanovich get it done inside, an opportunistic score around the rim. And the 76ers call time here. Granted, each of the last three seasons, Atlanta has been in the top 10 in offensive rating. That's true, B.A., but Atlanta has also been in the bottom 10 of defensive rating. If the Hawks want to take that next step, they have to commit to the defensive side of the ball.
And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Johnson comes in for Bay. Hunters checked in for Matthews. And Murray subbed in for Young. Now here's Harris. 26 points for him last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Relentless on the glass. Boards are largely about how much you want it. And so it's Atlanta with it after the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Hunter. The putback. Capella. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there. Couldn't get it to go. Harris passes to Beverly. Over Bogdanovich. Offensive rebound. Count that one. Reed. Well, plenty of give and take so far. Yeah, six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Murray finds Hunter. No good that time. Great D that time from Beverly. The 76ers have gone four of ten from the field in the second. Pass to Reed. Here's Embiid. Clock at four. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Sixers ahead. Up by one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Coach Quinn Snyder with us now. And, Coach, a bit of a lull for this team scoring the ball. Why? And it had nothing to do with anything other than us being aggressive. We're, like, walking the ball up the court. Whoever's got it, we've got to attack. At least effort is something you can control. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the board. They helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Without question, Tyrese Maxey displaying all his skills today. Yeah, even with the extra attention he's getting from the defenders, he's finding ways to excel. Well, we're not surprised by that. No more than what we've come to expect of him. He can adapt and adjust to anything a defense tries to throw at. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. And Clark, the elite offense of the 76ers, anchored by all their trips to the line. Yeah, and B.A., it begins with Joel Embiid. He's just unstoppable in the paint. He averages double-digit free throw attempts for his career. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Quinn Snyder. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. Johnson is out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. Young finds Capella. And the shot goes in. Capella's got his first bucket in this one. Boy, Capella's so special. Great strength, good focus, especially when he's being defended like that. That's good work there. Now here's Maxi. Five points in the game. And yep, it's good. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Young against Maxi. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Yeah, defensively, if you come off someone, Young will find him. Outside Maxi. 
Outside Oubre. Pulls up, high post. And again, it's Philadelphia. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Murray against Oubre. And Embiid with the block. The defensive instincts of Embiid on display there with the deny. Now here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. Fires in the triple. And it's a six-point Philadelphia lead. And Clark, it's safe to say that there's more talent in the NBA today than ever before. I don't think there's any question about that, VA. There are more outstanding players across the country and around the world than at any time, I think, in the history of the game. In part because of the information age we live in, players from around the world can see examples of excellence from whatever part of the world they happen to be from. And that is huge in inspiring young players to dream and realize their dreams of being NBA players if they have the ability and the work ethic to do so. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And the 76ers making a change here. Morris is checked in. Akangwu's checked in for the Hawks. Sadiq Bey comes in for Hunter. Pass to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. DeJounte Murray does a nice job using that long frame of his to attract contact from the defense and still get it done. Free throw drops from Murray. And DeJounte Murray is truly the complete package. He does a little of this and a little of that. Anything you need out there, he can make it happen. Martin, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Matthews, he's checked in for Young. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Hawks made the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021, but now they're looking to return to contention. Trey Young said, quote, we'll be all right. It's really just about us taking care of what we can control and making sure we're ready every night. But if we get into a rhythm, it'll take care of itself. Brian? Yeah, great point. All right, Ali, thank you. Here's Murray. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Connects on the foul line jumper. Murray's got four points in the quarter. You know, that's a shot some teams are willing to give Murray. The more he knocks it down, the more dangerous he'll become. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over a Kongwu. Embiid misses. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards is really been something to watch and the game's not over yet we'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch here's Matthews no made baskets yet the shot by Johnson no good and he almost made them regret defending him so loosely pass to Martin back to Maxi. Embiid inside Bay's there no stopping Joel Embiid. Wow. Boy, I think they've lost their intensity. I mean, the defensive pressure is lacking this half. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got eight points. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. For three, Maxi. They get it back. Embiid will eat you alive on the offensive board. You've got to box that guy out. That one is off. 
And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back to the game after this break. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Marcus Morris out there with Tobias Harris. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then it's Maxi, And it's Batum in at the three, the small forward. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And Young isn't just a scorer. He also takes pleasure in creating opportunities for others. Maxi surveys. And Harris gets it to go on the assist from Maxi. Maxi's got three assists in the game. And so it's Young with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. Six-point game. And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. That'll be the first of three games played at home. Hunter. There's the block. A capable defensive player. That wingspan of Batum, really an asset in blocking shots. Outside Bogdanovich. Fires the three. Sinks the tray. This is Bogdanovich's game. Catch, shoot, score. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Beverly outside. Over Bogdanovich. Again, the sixer score. And a nice bump for their offense this half. Now shooting over 50% for the game. And you know, guys, that kind of offensive efficiency really keeps a lot of pressure on the opponent, and that's part of why the lead is what it is. But you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. You know, that's where the high release point of Batum worked to his advantage, allowed him to get that shot off. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for Philadelphia. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. And that one misses. You know, a confident shooter who does a little of everything but Toom is a valuable call who plays his role well. And he recovers it. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. So we'll see Bogdan Bogdanovich go to the line here. It's on Patrick Beverly. What's up? basically automatic from the line not the guy you want to send there now the 76ers have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth Maxi passes to Harris and play stops a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen one of the trickier plays to judge but it would be hard to argue against the call yeah you know the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call as a matter of fact I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Embiid, he's checked in for Morris. Now here's Young. Shoots over Maxi. Young misses. No wonder he's been off the mark. He's been hanging in the background, somewhat uninvolved tonight. They got the rebound. That was sweet, guys. The hustle, the grit. Didn't back down from pursuing the board at all. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. 
and then Bede with the block. Beverly into the lane. Pass to Embiid. And he comes up with a bucket. And the 76ers lead by six. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're behind by six. A minute 29 left in the fourth quarter here. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Tyrese Maxey. Yeah, you know, he kept outdueling the defense over and over. No matter how hard they worked to keep up with him, it didn't phase him. His shooting percentage clearly reflects how unstoppable he was. And the 76ers making a change here. Oubre's checked in. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. Murray comes in for Bogdanovich. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. He was very encouraging with his guys, saying to them, we are still in this one. Don't give up right now. Get out there and let's grab this lead from them. Guys, let's see if the intensity picks up here. Okay, thank you, Allie. Now here's Embiid. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Capella. And there's a moxie to Embiid. I mean, he calls a lot of attention to himself and ruffles some feathers, but he backs it up. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. The physicality of MB, unmatched really, yet he's so much fun to watch because he's agile, has skill and touch. Man, is he a joy to watch work. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a six-point ball game. Since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. About three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Here's Young. And it's good. And now they trail by just four. And this is why Young is a go-to guy. He can get it done even under the toughest circumstances. Let's it go from the wing. That's good. From Embiid on the assist by Maxi. What confidence from Joel Embiid. Knock that one down in a clutch situation. And then bead with the block. And that's an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. The quick-footed, creative Max is so much fun to watch. He plays with such boundless energy, and he's still got room to grow. 30 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Young inside, Maxi covering. Outside Murray, from outside the arc, money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And in these big moments, DeJounte Murray is a great option. Just rises to the occasion. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. They didn't really have a 
another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. And so he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. Timeout called, the Hawks. They're losing by seven. 16 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Sixteen seconds left in the final quarter. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. So this one belongs to the 76ers. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? And we hope to see you again. Well, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everybody.